and he's at the gate now, raring to go. The Melbourne weather has really turned it on for us here today. Conditions perfect for what promises to be a sensational meeting. This really could be one of the best starts to the spring carnival we've seen in years. Clearly a little frisky as he moves through. You can tell he's really chafing at the bit to get underway. The trick will be to keep that excitement under control as he moves up the track to the presentation area. And there's a real sense of expectancy here as he waits for the filly Sweet Chastity to make an appearance. Sweet Chastity, the absolute toast of the town with an impeccable track record. With the right preparation and in the right conditions, she's the closest thing you can get to a sure thing. And there she is, Sweet Chastity by Bob out of Doreen, looking every inch the champion here today. There's no doubt about it, she's been beautifully turned out. What impeccable grooming. <sighs> Just look at those incredible legs and hindquarters. Not to mention that magnificent chest. It's not hard to see why they've won her such great admiration and made her a firm favourite with punters far and wide. And what an absolute credit to her trainer she is. A true thoroughbred. With this champion filly showing such amazing form, I'd say we can expect nothing short of a winning performance from her here today. I'm tipping two to one on. Better make that 20 to 1. It appears there's been some kind of problem with her preparation. Sweet Chastity suddenly becoming skittish, then turning and bolting. Maybe something spooked her. I don't know what happened. Clearly there's some confusion going on. But it'll have to be sorted out fast if she's to be ridden here today. And there she is. And to the untrained eye, she looks very calm. But as any experienced handler knows, this is when a filly like Sweet Chastity can be the most dangerous. One wrong move, one tiny mistake, and she could rear up and cause all sorts of trouble. Whoa. Moving slowly now, as she'll have to be approached carefully. Sweet Chastity known to be high spirited, but her handler's been in this situation many times before. And after suffering a few nasty kicks along the way, he knows just how to calm this filly down. Easy, girl. Easy. Easy. Got you some carrots. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Good girl. Walking her around now. And you can tell by the easy-going rhythm in her stride and the way she's holding her head, she's settling down nicely. Not too long ago she'd bolted. It looked like all bets were off. But when you're dealing with a high-spirited thoroughbred like Sweet Chastity, it's all about knowing what to do and when to do it. And I think what's needed right now is a rub down. Sweet Chastity responding beautifully to the treatment she's been given. And while there have been rumours of doping in the past, nothing has been proven. And nor is it likely to be. I think it's a simple case of the handler knowing how to get the best from this undisputed queen of the track. And from the way she's behaving now, I'd say we're just about to see what she's made of. Oh yes, she looks ready to go. Oh, she's rearing up. She's clearly keen to get on with things. There's no stopping her here now. And as they head towards the mounting yard, I'd say we can look forward to witnessing something rather special here today. <sighs> Who would have believed it? Sweet Chastity looked like she was going to be a non-starter. But after some desperate last minute work, he managed to turn that all around and it looks like it's going to pay huge dividends. <sighs> In the mounting yard now, and conditions couldn't be better for a win. And Sweet Chastity will be wearing blinkers for the first time today in what promises to be her best performance yet. Under starter's orders now. And 
They're off. <sighs> And what a magnificent ride. Sweet chastity leading nearly all the way and then challenged in the home stretch. And it's going to be a photo finish to see who came first. And welcome to the end credits, which should be getting underway any moment now. They're under starter's orders. And they're off. First away is the race caller, Brett Swain, followed closely by Sweet Chastity, Sarah Carlin-Smith. There's nothing separating these two as they head down the straight. Keeping the leaders in view in third is cameraman and lighting guy, Tony Brennan. A length away and is Jim Dunwoody, the sound guy, thundering along, followed by makeup artist, Marita Saiti, who's making up ground and starting to look really good. Behind her, it's the editors, Jack Wynn and Steve Bain, cutting their way through the pack, just ahead of Jack Wynn and Simon Murphy, the sound engineers. A length away and as Mitty's looking good in the jockey gear supplied. And here comes Jack Wynn again, this time as writer and director. He's cracking the whip as he chases the field into the home straight. Then a long way back, bringing up the rear, it's the end. Well, no surprises there. The end has come last in every one of its outings to date, and it looks like it's going to do the same again today because it's come to a complete stop in the middle of the track. Oh! Well, I don't know what the stewards are going to say about it, but the end is certainly drawing a lot of attention from the crowd. Oh, what a show pony!